and welcome to another episode of Citrix Microlearning. This video will guide you on how to add and link an Intermediate Certificate Authority on the Citrix ADC appliance. An Intermediate Authority Certificate helps complete a chain of trust from your server certificate back to the root certificate. Without the appropriate Intermediate Certificate, then users may not be able to recognize server certificates as being trusted. However, unlike root certificates, an intermediate certificate does not need to be installed by end users. The intermediate certificate is installed on the ADC appliance instead and linked to the server certificate. On this ADC, we have an SSL certificate bound to a load balancing V server. Let's take a quick look at that certificate. Navigate from Traffic Management, SSL, Certificates, and then Server Certificates. Click on the Information button to see the Server Certificate and Private Key associated with this Cert Key pair. Now let's dig a bit deeper. Return to the main SSL node and navigate to SSL Files and then Certificates. Use the Action button to download the file we revealed earlier. Upon opening the certificate, we can now see the issuing authority. Looking at the certification path, we can now see that the issuing authority is in fact an intermediate authority. The certificate for the intermediate authority is provided by the vendor from which the server certificate was purchased. Typically, the vendor will include that intermediate authority certificate with the delivery of the server certificate. Sometimes it's not just the Intermediate Authority Certificate, but an actual certificate bundle with all of the authorities in a chain. Once that Intermediate Authority Certificate or Certificate Bundle is obtained, we return to the SSL node in the ADC GUI and navigate to Certificates and then CA Certificates. Proceed by clicking Install. Provide a name for the new Intermediate Authority Certificate definition then search for the certificate on your local computer for installation. You will not need to select a private key for this installation. Click Install to complete the process. In the example displayed here, we actually chose a certificate bundle, so we added multiple entries to our list of CA certificates. Selecting one of the entries, we use the Action button and choose Cert Links to discover that the ADC has automatically linked each of the certificates in the authority chain. Now let's return to the server certificate so we can formally link it to the intermediate. From the action button, we choose link. The ADC will automatically enumerate the appropriate intermediate authority from the list of already installed entries. Click OK to complete the process. Returning to the action button, we choose cert links from the drop-down menu to verify that the link is now in place. 